Good morning. Good morning from Calle Morillo. Not remember the name of the city, but the views. Oh. This is where I spent my night. In this kind of, I don't know if it's a hotel. Or if it's just an individual that rented me an apartment. But yeah, so they give me the, the key, the, the password. Everything is digital, I open the doors. And yeah, I'm not sure if all of this is like hotels or if it's like, I don't think so. Or if like residence for regular, regular citizens. The views here are magnificent. Like I'm really at the top of, uh, uh, of the mountain. Oh, look at this. Vista points are everywhere. This casa was nice. And the price of it was $36 per night <laughs> and the apartment was excellent like okay it wasn't that big the room I don't know 200 square feet I think it was just the room to sleep a little corner to put my laptop and work there was a uh, a yeah quite nice uh, bathroom so I had everything for I needed for this night wow look at the sky This is the highest point of my <laughs> road trip and they have all of it just for me. There's no one around. Beautiful views over Mont Go mountain is that one. The city of Habea, you may recognize the uh, landscape of it. That lighthouse there, that's where I was yesterday. There is a vlog about it. You may see it at the top uh, right corner of the screen. And this, the beautiful should they introduce it again, the Mediterranean Sea and the city of Benidorm right there, before it there is Morera and I spent the night here and whoever is looking for an epic view over the Mediterranean Sea with even a pool just rent one of these houses, they are also apartments I'll give you the exact uh, GPS coordinates and the link to those apartments uh, it is not sponsored, it's just that I I wasn't even planning to stop by, so I just was driving and I saw the view and when I uh, parked my car, I saw, yeah, from, from the fence, they have, like from the room, they have a pool overlooking that, that thing called, whatever you want to call it, that's magic. <laughs> so I'll give you the link to it. So, yeah, if, uh, if you're looking for some epic, isolated uh, places, far from the big touristic uh, cities of uh, of Spain especially during spring and summer uh, not sure how it's gonna be packed here in spring and summer but it's gonna be definitely less packed than the other cities where you have like you know nearby the airports and where you can get easy access with buses here you'll definitely need a car if you want to have your uh, freedom so therefore you have less people coming here than in I don't know let's say Barcelona or or Sevilla or somewhere else so yeah the the views here are wow Wow, Habea will definitely be my most beautiful city of this entire road trip. Today is the is the day before the last one of my road trip, day seven. Tomorrow is day eight, uh, and Habea until today is the most beautiful city. Not only the city of Habea itself, but look at the surrounding environment. If you get bored in Habea, look what you can get. You can just drive here in less than twenty minutes, and here you are do your meditation, your yoga, your... you can cycle, I saw some bicycle heroes <laughs> the car was suffering to come here <laughs> the car is new now imagine the guys on their bicycles so yeah, whatever whatever sport you like to do <laughs> here it is and on this other side you have... because again, 
this is like the most eastern tip of Spain right so Spain mainland so it goes like this on the Mediterranean Sea you see the prolongation of the Mediterranean Sea and here you have other little villages scattered uh, across the mountains beautiful beautiful I need to renew uh, revamp my adjective my adjective of, my adjective how to say register of beautiful things ah this this view can't get enough of it you could see some historic kind of church there in that little little town see some settlements there the crazy part is that every settlement here has a history like they many settlements here have like um, how to how to say it they have some arabic names and definitely when you see a settlement with an arabic name that means that that settlement is there for at least 500 years uh, because 500 years ago that's when la reconquista took over spain and become christian again uh, but in reality most of these settlements they were this region was taken by la reconquista in the 1230 somewhere like 1250 something like this so that means that these settlements with arabic names they have at least 800 years many of them over a thousand years so think of it like these tribes came here they settled down here and they stayed for they stayed for thousand years it's insane and they wouldn't leave this place for anything else in the world that's history that's that's why i love spain that's why i love that's why I love places that have history. It's more than just beaches and and food and fun and entertainment. Montgo. This. When I spent the night in Denia, I had a view on this mountain here. This mountain, Montgo, is that one, and Cap Saint Anthony, we were there yesterday. There is also a lot of hiking path here. The the description below the video, the ones I found. So you know, if in case you want to go off road, and uh, I mean, if you want to have my opinion, I would say this 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 road trip I did would have been yeah i mean i i love this i enjoyed it but yeah next time i would definitely do it with a van i'll probably yeah a van would be perfect maybe not convert a van immediately that's that's like too much work right away maybe maybe the van life is not for me but probably just rent a van not sure if the yeah i think there are some uh, uh, van rental companies in europe like rent a van you know have a uh, bicycle in the back and just you know go off-road in uh, in in this area of spain and discover it maybe in spring or summer but yeah if you come here with a van it would be perfect almost nostalgic <laughs> that this road trip is coming to an end <laughs> but hey to every good thing an end it's 415 meters of altitude and in fact it's the final step what i'm reading of uh do you know the tour de, de france like the the yeah the cycling competition <laughs> some cat was having fun on my car <laughs> <laughs> cats assholes <laughs> you see it the little yeah they were having fun on my car <laughs> all right anyway um, apparently this is the f the final nine step of the kind of the cycling tour of uh, of Spain that was held in August 2015 yeah 2015 sorry I thought she was talking to me wow yeah, I I understand why they would choose this because <laughs> look at look at what you gotta climb with your bicycle. <laughs> wow. Hola amigos, I wanna show you how I saved 25 euros. That's almost 27 dollars by driving for five minutes. That's no less than five minutes. I'm exaggerating. This is how. So you see here, this parking costs me one euro until 2 p.m. tomorrow so that's almost that's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of time that's almost 24 hours the parking costs only one years I paid a hotel right there it's like less than five minutes driving from here 
and the hotel did not have a parking because I was tricked I mean it's my fault on booking.com it shows the signed parking but it just said yes there is parking possibility it didn't it wasn't free so when I went to that parking they asked me 20 almost 27 euros so this is almost 30 dollars of parking per night I said there must be a better way <laughs> so I just drove to this place which I think I gave it to you last time when I visited the city of Sitges and here it is two, uh, there were two, two Spanish girls there who helped me with this because to me it was no it's impossible when you're until tomorrow at 2 p.m. I said see si, see si. <laughs> that's how it is the cheapest parking I've ever paid in my life in Spain in the city of Sitges the highly uh, how do you say it? what's the word what's the word the highly sought after <laughs> the sexy English <laughs> all right now I parked my car I gotta go to the city center of Sidgas because I want to see how it feels like oops let me close this door <laughs> I love this Ola that the car is doing <laughs> see the Spanish cars are very Spain is a welcoming country even the cars when you rent a car the car tells you Hola, hola senor. So this is how it is in Sidgas, right near I parked the, where I parked the, my car. As you can see there is a lot of playgrounds here for the kids. The residential area is super nice and it feels very very safe. So like yeah, girls sitting in the, the park there alone. It's like dark now. It's super safe. I love it. I love it. Again, the city of Sisgas, as I said last time, like 35, I mean, if you haven't seen the, the vlog, you can see it here, at the top uh, right corner of the screen. Sitges has at least 35% of its population coming from other places like uh, mainly Scandinavia, the UK, Netherlands, uh, France. So these are like snowbirds, but uh, yeah, they they call Sitges and Spain home now. And especially with the COVID, this uh, tendency has intensified because many people can uh, work remotely, so they simply move here permanently because they had like you know these uh, secondary residents. Some some of them uh, like from from my research at least. The, there has been a lot of sales of uh, apartments here, to, uh, mainly to foreigners. So, uh, so yeah, you'll hear, uh, you'll hear a lot of Dutch, German, Scandinavian languages here in Sitges. strawberries are huge here in Spain <laughs> I don't know what they feed them <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow when I wake up from my hotel so I can bring the car back to the rental company go spend some time in uh, Barcelona and in the meantime I have a little favor to ask you <laughs> the first one is please if you haven't done it yet please subscribe to my channel the second one is please take care of that like button as long as you turn it blue I'm happy you can either go you know the hard way smash it you can just click on it like everyone has been doing for the past <laughs> three years since computers have been invented <laughs> Or you can touch it gently if you wish it also turns it blue thank you very much for watching the video yes that way you go all right they kicked me out from the airport because uh, they didn't want me to take the plane and that's normal because my flight is planned is scheduled in 11 hours so the earliest I can be at the airport is six hours and I don't think it's even have anything to do with COVID restriction it's simply I think a rule at airports like you, can, you can't just come and hang around <laughs> why the heck I came here 11 hours before 
Well, that's because they dropped my rental car near the airport. And I said, instead of going to the city center of Barcelona to just hang around, let's go to the airport, get some work done. Uh, I just spent five years, take the metro ticket to the airport. Now, another five years back. <laughs>